Okay, so I was actually asked a question by a mate of mine, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it because obviously, you guys, not everybody here knows everything about dragons, what dragons to focus on. So I will be telling you what dragons you need to start focusing on over others and then go down the list on what's more and least important than the other ones. <laughs> Honestly, I have to make sure you guys know this. Waffles is by far probably the most important dragon in the game. It can be your strongest PvE slash PvP dragon depending on how strong you make it. Like, ranking it up and tearing it up. Um, I've seen, I saw Limsley had it ranked 50 within like a month or two after its release. It was pretty whack. And it was maxed out there. I'm pretty sure Wa uh, Waffles highest tier is 17. That's what I was told. Uh, 16 is the highest I've seen, which was from this dude, A-Box. Um, of course, always maxing out its level. But honestly, Waffle is the most important dragon I could think of. Because honestly, like, okay, so let's say you're B there's PvP cap, right? So let's say your PvP cap is 400 BFA out of 400. So if you have 401 BFA, that one BFA isn't going to be in your PvP march. But of course it will be in your PvE march. The problem is right here. Like if you're attacking, um, this account I have been getting bigger out of this. My, B uh, my BFA dropped. Let me let me attack somebody real quick. Uh, not attack, but she you guys. So for example, my, my PvP isn't capped anymore, but look at this. Let's say my... BFA was actually 600%. Well, that other 75, well, actually it's 85. 85% won't be showing in March because, wow, like, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's under the BFA cap. But if I put Waffles in my March, then it would throw in that extra 85 depending on its tier, rank, all that. Also, I want to mention, besides the fact that Waffles extreme, like, can be, bring up your like BFA cap and all that, you know what I mean? Um, obviously, it doesn't work on PVE marches because your BFA is uncapped in PVE. But Waffles is extremely like well, like you know, compared to your other dragons, com depending on how strong your Waffles is, Waffles is extremely powerful compared to them. Because I mean, right now my Waffles is of course like dog. So <laughs> look at this. It's got that eight hundred percent right here. You know, it's kind of trash. But I mean. Um, if I was BF, uh, like BFA cap, that would be extremely helpful. And if it was a correct ranked level tier, it would also be my main dragon, even without the PvP cap, because just Waffles is such an extremely good dragon. I want to make sure you also, like, I'm pretty sure it goes in this order. The Lava Dragon next, after you focused on Waffles, that's the next best dragon. Then the Raid Dragon, that is extremely good as well. I mean, this is like considering you're mostly PvP, but at the same time, Waffles is extremely good for just hitting mobs and stuff too. If it's like a really good level and rank on all that, it'll go in like your main marches. You know, it's the same with the Raid and Lava Dragon. Those three dragons are like pretty good dragons, you know. I wouldn't really focus on the Tau hitting dragons right away i'd focus on those last really if anything because i mean those are the most useless ones like of course they'll be useful if you're in a tower war but you know i don't think like you're gonna be tower warring every day so it's not the most necessary one i also want to mention that after you've built up those three main legendary well they're not legendary aren't they like rare or something well whatever they are after you build up those three main dragons what you want to do is you want to start building up the you know well, I'd say get, like, you know, for example, Rod, um, all the main three legendary dragons get their, like, think, rank up a few. Uh, may correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, get their rank up a few or something like that. And then you can get, like, for example, uh, here, let me show you guys. Rod's right here. It's rank ability. Yes, it's right here. It's research speed boost, depending on my rank ends up actually you know just making it that much better also want to mention that ranking up the dragons also brings up your pvp cap as long like as well as the research so that's also extremely good it's actually only for the pvp dragons that i've seen so far though because for example let me show you this one rank up it, it does not affect your pvp like you know um 
uh, capped. So I'd really just focus on those three main dragons, and then I'd start focusing on, depending on if you're PvE or PvP, of course, I'd focus on Rot myself. But if you're PvE, you would, of course, focus on Chumper. So I hope that is helpful to the new players of Heckfire, because I know a lot of people do not know what kind of dragons they should be focusing on first. Waffles is extremely good, mostly if you're a pay-to-play ah, pay play, play, player, it really uh, affects everything, you know. So I'd go ahead, focus on that dragon. Hope this did help you guys, and peace out, guys. Enjoy your day.